But first, <laughs> take out your wallets. <laughs> take out. Take out your wallets. I'm so glad my purse is backstage. I can feel it. We're gonna do this in five minutes. And take out some amount of money. If you're broke, a couple dollars. If you make six figures, put out 20. <laughs> and then wave the money in the air. <laughs> I wanna see this money like you're at a strip joint or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you're all, you're all gonna be potential donors. Hold up the money. I'm not fucking around, hold up the money. <laughs> you're all potential donors. I'm gonna give you a project that I want you to fund. And I want you to ask me questions as you would if somebody approached you for money, okay? I want to do a tour of all of the 24-hour fitnesses in the Bay Area, you know, where people are, mo are working out, looking at a window into an empty sidewalk. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do a show on that sidewalk, and it, it's gonna be called the Witness the Fitness Tour. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanna raise $300 today, okay? So that's my proposal. Questions? What would you ask if somebody came to you with that? What am I going to do? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. What I can tell you is that I'm going to make about a 30 minute mind silent show. Okay? I don't know what the content is going to be. It's going to be very physical. Okay? That's all. Huh? Documentation. Documentation. I'm going to film it. It's going to go on YouTube. Are you going to one location? I'm going to go to, I'm going to try to go to at least three, uh, multiple. I, I, my goal is to do all of the 24 hour fitnesses. Why? Why? Art does not need a reason to exist. <laughs> I want to do it because I want to do it because it's possible. <laughs> Timeline within the next six months. How many artists? Me and probably one or two other collaborators. How many 24-hour fitnesses are there? I don't know. If I can raise, if I can raise $300, I commit to doing five venues. There are five in Marin. I commit to at least doing five if I can raise $300. Any more questions? How do I know you'll follow through? Uh, you don't. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Uh, how do I know I want to follow through? I'm going to post updates to you. If you go to Phillips Video Club, just Google it. You can set up on my mailing list, and I'll and I'll send out uh, I'll send out notices and updates. He's when I'm going to start? Twenty-five. Can you collaborate? Possibly. I don't know. I don't know you. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> What's my process? I'm going to get uh, probably a couple acrobats or people in the dance circus world who are good at miming stuff and make a show. Okay, that's my proposal. I want a competing proposal over here from someone in the audience. <laughs> And I want it awesome. I don't want to hear no boring, like, I'm going to do a show on this film festival. I don't okay, care. Okay, John's but... got somebody. All right. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> okay, girl, you got 30 seconds. Here's your mic. Oh, my God. Okay, this is my mic. Okay, great. All right, we are going to do feminist on-the-spot writing workshops at dressing rooms in women's clothing boutiques downtown. <laughs> Um, I work with a lot of writers who, um, you know, deal with things such as body issue, money, class, you know, urban living. Um, they work with a lot of humor and they um, teach. They teach workshops and we're going we're gonna to do it and we're going to do spontaneous performance and then try to engage with the people who are actually going in and trying on clothes and get them to I love it. step out of their comfort zone a little bit, you know, as much as they're able to. We're, we're going to have to fill in a lot of the, the gaps as far as, like, you can't expect them to suddenly become performers. So we'll be doing a lot of the performances, but we'll be working with them as kind of an improv workshop. Okay. Any questions for Michelle? This is for you. Yep. Oh my God! Thank you. Any questions for Michelle? Okay, I am a performer, and how we avoid getting thrown out of the stores? Well, we will try. We'll do it guerrilla style until we are thrown out, and then we'll be able to just use the space in front. And we'll have like signages that we'll create that'll be really provocative and fun that will call a lot of attention to us. Here's a dollar for each. Year. <laughs> so, any more questions for Michelle? What's the budget? 
What's the budget? Oh, a budget. Okay, I'll need $300 also. I want to pay, we'll need some money for supplies, you know, to get the signages and whatnot. And then um, we'll also, I'll also want to give some money to pay the actual performers who are going to be teaching the workshops. And maybe a bail fund? Yeah, okay, I was so say a bail fund. <laughs> bail fund, maybe. I love it. <laughs> Support. So let's, let's wrap this up. How many performers? Um, I think that for each site we'll probably need three because you know we're going to be in like really heavily trafficked areas so I'm thinking that even you know considering that people can be kind of shy we'll have really outgoing performers won't we'll be getting a lot of traffic so I'd say we want three in each spot. Let's vote. So Michelle stand over there. I want to vote by throwing money either this word or that word. <laughs> hey, can we get some people to like collect money? It is the, the true task. <laughs> Okay, collapse. Okay. So the 24 hour fitness, witness the fitness tour, throw your money this way. And for Michelle's uh, dressing room feminist writing workshops, throw it money this way. Throw the money. Oh, from the mezzanine, throw it down. <laughs> Make it rain money. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make art, motherfuckers. We're gonna make art. Why talk about getting donations? Get donations. <laughs> Is that it? Is that it? I hope this video ends. Oh <laughs> All right. <laughs> Collect your money.